Hey Disney fans, welcome back to my channel. So today, unfortunately, coming at you with another shipping nightmare. Blasted old Target doesn't know how to pack anything. And the set that I ordered came absolutely just demolished and mangled. And I'm about ready to say, Target, you can't ship anything. But make lemonade out of lemons. Let's go ahead and let's get this really cute little Frozen 2 set out of the box. Because at this point, there's nothing else I can do with them. So first I do wanna show you the box itself before I demolish it because like I said, there's no saving this. This is the Frozen 2 Anna and Kristoff proposal gift set. Um, so obviously this is a dead giveaway, spoilers, whatever you wanna call it, of what's to come. So uh, yeah, if you don't wanna know spoilers, I guess don't watch this one. <laughs> um, but it's got the same type of box um idea as even the ones from the disney store because it's got the like the birchwood trees and all of that you can see here it comes with a ring and then of course an anna doll and a Kristoff doll and you can see here it says anna and Kristoff proposal set and then also look for these other two dolls that are part of this line um and this was num i think 49.95 or 49.99 one of the two um so yeah kind of bummed because i was hoping to have it in good condition but this is what we got, so let's go ahead and let's get these two out of the box. All right, so I do have them out of their box now. Um, these are by Jax Toys. I may have said Hasbro earlier, that was my mistake. These are definitely Jax Toys, and uh, they do make very good quality toys, I think. Very cute, very well done. Very similar to Hasbro, but they are not Hasbro. So we'll start with Anna first. She does have her little signature updo there with the braid. Her bangs are, they came messy. I fixed them up as best I could. I uh, will kind of spin you around here, you can see her little hairstyle there is a braid that just kind of folds around the top of her head. And then she does have the little wheatgrass hair clip and then her little flippy bangs. And then she has a little braid across the top there as well. I think on the other doll, she has another hair pick that goes like down in that area, but they didn't put it on this one. And that's fine. One less piece to have a kid choke on. I love the eyes. I think Jax is the only one that does their eyes like this. I'm not sure if Hasbro does or not, um, but they have like a clear plastic around the pupil on the iris. And then the white part is just the normal plastic, but I really do like it. I think it gives a little bit more realness to the dolls. Really, really adorable. She does have her little freckles all over her face. Super cute. Love the outfit. The jacket is what appears to be a removable jacket. If you wanted to take it off, you could. Underneath it, of course, is the dress that she wears uh, with the little wheatgrass and diamond shapes uh, pattern on there. She does have a glittery purple belt, glitter all over the little jacket and then satin cuffs on her sleeves. Her um, skirt area is again made to look like that satin material, but it too has lots of pleating and then the wheatgrass and lots of glitter and purple embellishments. And then there's a really pretty little sparkly edge here. And then underneath we have like a champagne color almost um, underskirt that is sparkly. And she is wearing her little shoes. I love that little pattern. We see that pattern a lot because it's also right there on the jewelry box. And it's also on the back of the tails of the limited edition Saks doll. This is what appears to be, well, you know what? I bet you this is a one piece outfit because there's one thing of Velcro here. So it's probably looks to be like it's a separate jacket, but it actually isn't. But there's the back of Anna's dress. So it is longer in the back than it is in the front, just like all the other ones have been. Super, super cute little outfit. Moving over to Kristoff, he too has the um, same eyes. Of course, being a boy doll, they did give him molded hair. Um, so there you can kind of see what it looks like. Really nice, very well done, very well painted, very good detail. I love this little guy. This little guy. He's, he's like an awkward cute. He's just really fun. He's got his little freckles too, his big doe eyes because he's all in love with Anna, so cute. And then his outfit kind of mimics hers because again, this is the engagement set. So they are wearing mimicking outfits, of course, with the purple belt and little flower designs. His pants are like a soft felt material. And coming down, he is wearing brown boots that if you turn them around, you'll see these are the removable kind. So they come off really, really easily. And then this is one piece, even though it looks like it could be two, it is one piece because there's the big piece of Velcro. And then he does have like a little purple trim there on the side. So great little toy right there. I believe these are ages like three and up. Yeah, three plus, I just looked at the box. Coming down then to the um, engagement ring box. So. We see that same design here, the wheatgrass and purple and gold. It's hinged on the back, really beautiful embellishments on it. It's plastic, of course. And then when you open this up, which we'll do now, let me go ahead and get that open here, maybe. There we go. 
it does look like it's made to look like a pillow and then we have a little um, gold ring there which does sit in there pretty nicely slides right out uh, it is open on the bottom that way anyone can wear it no size restrictions or anything and then of course it's made to look like a little diamond ring so we've got little facets on it and everything super super cute little ring here i'm trying to get it to focus and it wants to focus on the dolls instead but really cute little ring and it's got uh, like a little leaf design on the side so i guess we know what's going to happen in the movie because otherwise they would not have made a set called the proposal set so i guess again guys spoilers but it's out there everybody knows it by now because this is a target exclusive and target's been selling it for months so that is the cute and adorable anna and christoph jack's toys proposal set available exclusively at target Alrighty guys, thanks for joining me on my review of these cute Jack's Toys Anna and Kristoff proposal set, exclusive to Target. They are really, really cute and while I don't debox, I guess it is what it is. Maybe my daughter can play with these ones now or I'll hand them to her at Christmas or something I haven't really decided yet. But they are super, super cute. Um, I just wish that the box had got destroyed. Oh, I've been having bad luck lately with a lot of my boxes coming just demolished. So I don't know, maybe it's, you know, the doll gods telling me, Ian, you have enough. Uh, I do have quite a few, but it's all right because they're cute and it's fun to collect. So I hope you enjoyed, guys. If you do order this online, I hope you do have better luck than I do. Uh, I just, I opened it up. I knew the minute I saw the box, I knew it was damaged because it was crushed in on both ends. It was crushed on the bottom and the top. And I'm like, well, there goes that one. So bummer, but yeah, well, I can't really control it. And uh, they really didn't pack it at all. They threw two air pillows in the bottom of the box and that was it. It was doomed from the get-go. But I hope you guys do get your hands on this and you do have better luck than I do. If you have it already, leave some comments down below about your thoughts on this set and how cute it absolutely is. It's really adorable. At first I was gonna return it and just say, ah, but I'm like, you know what? I, I can't, no targets around me and the targets that aren't near me don't carry this set at all. So I'm like, well, I guess it's just fate. So life goes on. Anyhow, guys, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you have any questions about these or any other item I've shown, certainly let me know either via DM on Instagram. It's DisneyDad83, DisneyDad underscore 83. Um, and I'll be glad to get back to you out there. Or if you want to leave a comment down below, I'll certainly answer you there as well. Alrighty, guys. Well, thanks for joining me. I hope you have a very magical day and we will see you real soon.